Coral reef degradation in high-energy offshore reefs can often be attributed to natural disturbances such as storm damage. In Apo Reef Natural Park, a major typhoon in 2006 caused a decline in hard coral cover and the reef has seen slow recovery back to previous levels since. Good day. I am Jesus Gabriel C. Fetil, and I am here to present our study to assist recovery in Apo Reef Natural Park. ARNP was highly damaged when Typhoon Kaloy hit in 2006. These changes are highlighted in the classified satellite images shown. Due to the destruction from high wave energy, large fields of coralline fragments or rubble can be found across the reef complex after the typhoon. The green areas in the map represent areas with a mix of rubble, sand, and dead corals. These fields of rubble have been dubbed as killing fields or death traps for coral recruits when larvae attach to the rubble only to fail when waves move this loose substrate, abrading the small colonies. Thus, our study aims to assist recovery by stabilizing these loose rubble fields. Several studies have already been conducted to stabilize rubble. However, few studies have assessed its feasibility in high energy areas. In our study, we used cocoquar mesh as a physical stabilizer and we seeded the experimental setups with sponge to see if this can be able to act as an initial binding organism. We deployed this experiment in areas with varying exposure to natural disturbances. The experiment showed that the method is feasible as loose rubble were successfully bound in both seeded and unseeded samples with a higher success rate in the sponge seeded samples. Aside from this, an increase in binding strength was observed between three and eight months of deployment. To contextualize these values, one Newton gram can carry a weight of about 100 grams. In ARNP, setups deployed in the exposed portion of the reef in the northern part were destroyed by typhoons that occurred within the first three months of deployment. However, there was success in places with less exposure to natural disturbance. With these learnings, we intend to scale up the deployment in strategic areas based on need and feasibility. Thank you for your time, and I am now open for your questions.